All righty, folks. Welcome on back to Lost Odyssey. Uh, last time we rescued, quote unquote, um, Ming from the palace, um, found out that Cook and Matt consider her to be an aunt, and found out that uh, General, what was his name? Kar Karkaroff? Kar 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 something? Um, couldn't get his tank working because we destroyed it. <laughs> so <laughs> now we have a composite magic tutorial that I would love to go through. So some spells can be combined together to form what is known as composite. To cast a composite magic, you must be able to use both of the spells that compose it. Use the spell book under menu to check the spells required for composite magic. Any composite magic for which you lack the required spells will not be displayed. You can only use composite magic spells for which you have the required skill level. Okay. That was a very quick tutorial. I guess I could have done that at the end of the last episode. Uh, let's see here. Composite magic. We have, we don't know, poison cure. Slightly recovers the HP of a row of allies and cures them for poison. Uses... It's, it's a two, but fast. So it uses refresh and cure poison. And then we have a also cures, does HP and paralysis, HP and seal. Uh, all flare inflicts a moderate amount of fire damage on all enemies. So that's shadow and flare. I'm guessing we're going to have, yeah, aqua, wind, ground. Interesting. So, uh, let's. Who's who's doing what with skills? Learned combo, learned power hit. So we have one from everybody that we need now. That one's absorb transfer. Cook is mental stability. I didn't look at this. Reduces interference with magic casting speed caused by enemy attacks. That sounds insanely useful for, like, Jensen. And then Mac. Okay. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to skill link mental stability, and we're going to skill link mental stability, and we're going to skill link mental stability... <laughs> Three. Okay, so she started with three. She knows level one composite, level three black white, anti seal. Has an uh, a piece of equipment. Okay. Uh, let's rearrange the formation. Jensen, you're out. Unless I can put Ming in, I don't think I can. Nope, I, I didn't think so. I thought we could only have five. Ah! Going back too far. All right, Jensen, you're out for now. Ming is in. Yes, we're going to change the formation. We're going to start going through equipment. Adept is almost done. Dang. Magic research report is what gives... <laughs> look, at, look at everything that she has to learn. Ah! All right. Uh, first and foremost, what do I want? HP recovery and critical hits up cure, occasional deal zero. Let's get MP up. Princess Kane, nice. Um, okay, so that allows us to equip Seth with the magic research report, giving her access to composite magic. You guys' skills are set up. Yes. Cool. All right. So, we have a new party member, Ming, who the formation didn't update for? What? That's better. All right. We still need to find a shop somewhere and buy people, buy everybody things because we haven't done that yet. So, we're going to go to the port of Numara. 
and see see what we can find. The port of Numara. Hey, look at that, a broken arch. The shipyard is up ahead. That's where the latest model is being built. We should go take a look. <laughs> the latest model of what? I am going to save after that battle, though. Um, should I be talking to these guys? The soldiers are somewhat jumpy today. Whatever it is, I'll be glad they get what's coming. Hold it. Don't tell me you're... I mean, I might be, but I don't know. Okay. Time to save. Hello? I'm busy. If you have no business here, get lost. But if you have, just go on through. Okay. I, I don't, but sure. I can just go on through. Ah, uh, this area is pretty big, isn't it? This area is pretty big. I don't even need the isn't it. It's just pretty big. Alright, what is in here? We're in luck. They're just starting the final adjustments, which means they'll be fitting the engine next. I don't want to be in here now. Although that ship looks really cool. All right, so we're going to leave. <laughs> we can't leave. We've got business here. No. All right, fine. Overnight tech t Technician Banda. Hey, that engine. Where'd you get it? Oh, this. Uh, let's see. When was that? A while back, an unbelievably huge fish washed up on shore. This was in its belly. We checked it out and realized it could deliver incredible output, so we fixed it and installed it in the boat. Did the repairs work? Like a charm. That boat was built to be General Kakanis's command vessel. Installing it is all that's left to do. Kakanas. That's the word I was missing earlier. I see. Thanks. Eh, don't mention it. Hmm. A huge fish, huh? You know, a while back... Is there something you remember? I really depended on it. Depend on what? The fish or the engine? The engine, it's from back when I was a pirate. Huh? You were a pirate? <laughs> I love the two kids, they're like, wait, what? Yep, that's right. Wow! Amazing! That is so cool! Huh? Oh yeah, I've always loved women who are pirates and, and swords women and stuff. I, I, I read books about them for like ever. It is so exciting to meet a real woman pirate. I, I, well, uh, I mean, to make a long story short, I just, I was, I, could I, I she wants to be your apprentice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's being installed. The boat that's being built right now is the fastest in all Numara. It's going to make its debut soon. And you don't want to miss the launch event. Oh, trust me. We will not be missing the launch event. Finally, that should solve the problem. Come on. Don't fail me now. 
Finally, the engine is fixed. I just hope it works this time. The general is always shouting at us to get the boat moving. Strange. He doesn't seem to be here today. <laughs> There's a reason for that. I'm just going to run on board. Look at that corkscrew of a... Of a... Propeller. Inform General Kakanis that the engine installation is complete. He said to call him when we're ready for a test drive. Hey, yeah. Oh, hey, look! Someone's on board! Oh, uh, hey! Hey, yourself, you little toast. <laughs> what are you doing there? Get off! Go! Uh, 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 get word to General Kakanis! Hurry! Yes, sir! Your ship is leaving. Thank you. Ah, all right. This should be easy. <clears throat> oh, wow. A lot of buttons there. Uh, gotta need a manual, I think. I'm out of the way, amateur. <laughs> she doesn't even look. Here goes. Let's go. <laughs> Right through the door. And this is when we yell, Freedom! Ah. View the slant nose control tutorial. Yes, please. With the slant nose at hand, you are able to traverse the wide open ocean. Move the left stick in any direction to set the slant nose in motion. Move the right stick in any direction to set the camera view. Some areas, such as shallows, ice fields, and hypercurrents, are not navigatable even to the slant nose. Shallows, ice fields, and hypercurrents. Okay. Press the RB to move to the slant nose bridge. To return to sea navigation, approach the cockpit controls and confirm that you want to embark. When you approach the shores, a land... Um, will appear on the bottom. Press A to exit the slant nose. To make the world map menu appear, click the right stick and move to the closest landing point. To reboard the slant nose, choose the landing point on the world map menu and press A. Nope. Time to go. <laughs> yes. We have true exploration now. All right, stop, stop back and forth. Uh, we don't want to go to Grand Staff. Oh, all right. But I do want to land here, maybe? Can't land there? Perfect. These are all cliffs. Well, I was hoping that I could go back to, um, uh, Umara. I guess that's not going to happen. Now, question. If we go to the ship interior, I also found out that LB centers the camera behind the slant nose. So if we go to the interior... Can we sleep? Can we? Wow. Are you feeling fighting, okay? Yes. Yes. I'm fine. I'm the only one that's the thug chief. <clears throat> okay then. Where do we start? Have your memories come back? No. Nope. It comes in fragments. Same as you. Bits and pieces. Please tell me what you meant by saying we were comrades. Do you have dreams? Yes. I do. Well, what about them? Have you ever wondered if those dreams might be fragments of your past? 
that there might be something turning round and round in your heart, different from the way you are now. Have you ever had a rush of feelings? Wow, you're like saying more than one word since you begin your memory back. Well, you're still as fun to be with, though. Well, have you experienced anything like what Kaim is talking about? I'm not sure. You know that you're called the Thousand-Year-Old Queen, right? And your body is supposed to be immortal? Yes, but I don't know why I'm called that. Or, or why my body doesn't age. <laughs> I don't understand anything. That must be why Kakanis looks down on you. You've lost your purpose. It's just that... How should I put it? I often feel as though there's something terribly important that I'm forgetting. And it pains me. As though it may not be in my memories after all. But my heart remembers the pain. There have been many times recently when this has happened. My body wouldn't move like it was exhausted. And then I, I would collapse. When I felt this vague sense of unease coming on, I would often play the harp. And that would calm my mind. So that's what you were doing when we met? Yes. Kakonis frequently advised me to lift the country from its isolation. At those times, he recommended nothing more than expanding our information about the outside world. But it seems that his true objective was something else. Now, this is what they call fate. See, meeting me was predestined. That means Kakonis just played a role. He was a pawn to make it happen. All right, that's enough out of you. <laughs> Ow, hey! All right! <laughs> <laughs> Ming, I felt the same as you until recently. My memories were locked up. Your memories were locked up? You, me, Seth, and Sarah. And one more whose name that you as queen should know. The Urin sorcerer, Gungora. <gasps> yes, I'm aware that there is a sorcerer called Gungora. The five of us were once comrades. We had a thousand year agreement. We came to this world to accomplish something important. For that reason, we were made immortal. We don't age. When the end of the thousand year agreement drew near, Gangora betrayed us. Though we couldn't die, he inflicted pain on us that was worse than death. Pain? Kind of... <laughs> he deprived me of someone more important to me than myself. He cruelly stole her from me, and inflicted a deep wound on my heart that can never be healed. I also had something important stolen from me. Gungora used magic energy to block my memories and seal them within me. After he wiped out our entire lives, we became like living corpses. And I too have had something very important stolen. And my memories locked away? Yes. What could possibly be so important? Don't push yourself. Take all the time you need to remember. Oh yeah, I have something to return to you. Return? To me? This really saved me. I met you before, didn't I? Yeah, 200 years ago. I borrowed this from you back then. I must meet with Gongora. That's what we plan to do. He's up to something that involves Grand Staff. We have to stop him. That has become our mission. Guess that means our destination is Ura, right up? Hold on. If we go to Ura, we'll have to cross the ocean. In a boat like this, there's no way we'd make it. Even with your engine, Seth? It's an old clunker. Oh, it's got power to burn. But the ship itself wouldn't be able to handle the strain. It would fall apart. Aww. Why don't we head for Goza? They've made the most progress with magic technology. I am the Queen of Numata. I shall request aid from the King of Goza in the name of our countries. 
and for the world's future. I don't think that's going to work out the way you think it's going to, Queenie. All right. Let's actually go to the ship interior this time, maybe. <laughs> Instead of getting a cutscene. There we go. Okay. So I can talk to everybody. If I want to. There's a door exit back here. I'm trying to see if there's a bed and a save point. So that goes up. That goes up, so that is a no. I can talk to everybody, though. Hey, does this make us pirates, too? I mean, technically, yes. Kaim, what kind of person was your mom like? Your mom's mom like? His mom's mom? I don't think we know that yet. I'm not sure we'll ever know that. All right, Ming, what do you have to say? I can't do it. I can't remember. Well, that's fine. Don't push yourself. Hey, <laughs> I beat General Testosterone. Oh, I bet General Testosterone is throwing a big hissy fit right about now. <laughs> yeah, no kidding, right? Huh. You want to know how to steer this ship? Uh, no. No, I don't. I want to depart. Okay, so we're going to Gotza. Uh, that was not the button I wanted. Which I'm guessing is this stuff down over here. No, no, we don't want to move to the nearest debarkation point just yet. I want to do a little exploring. Oh, it looks like there's some debarkation point there. All right, so they're going to be the jig, big giant triangle thing. So is there anything down here? Let's go between these two islands. That'd be a no. <laughs> this ship is is not all that easy to steer. It's easier to just hold it straight ahead and then steer with the camera. <laughs> So right now, all we can do is explore this little teeny tiny area. Of which we can come up here and debark. So let's land. Goza, southernmost cape. Sink, not with the captain's engine on board. You think you're so cool now that you're a pirate? Well, I'm gonna teach you a thing or two about the pirate code. And what code would that be? What what code? Well, that that would be a uh, secret pirate code that we would do if Touch we had the time. Touch my head! Hey, Grandpa! Wow, you have Cook is such a and what a kick! Boy, she's strong. That Cook. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what you just said. Well, what I'm saying is she that cook is as cute as a button. She's just oh, you must be proud. <laughs> you lying creep. Cook, it hurts when you get kicked, you know? <sighs> but he insulted the captain. Isn't that right, Captain? Captain? We've unlocked a dream deep in Seth's heart. Right? A dream has been revealed. We are not going to dream it right now. Seth's dream, part one. Is there a part two? Crying. I 
remembered some things from a long time ago. You mean when you were a pirate? And remembering made you cry? <laughs> I've always been a pirate. I was crying because... Because of something that happened that... I regret. All right, so we could go straight to the Crimson Forest or the port of Numara um, or the landing point at Numara port, but we are currently over here on the southern coast of Tosca, and we want to go to Tosca Village south. I'm guessing we can go to any deembarkation point to disembark. Hmm, that's an interesting thought. <laughs> the Kelalon. Really? Gaim. Look, it's Kaim. Hey, everybody! Kaim's back. Uh yeah. Yeah, that's that's my response there too, buddy. It's good to see you again, Kaim. But uh, you haven't changed a bit. Does this mean the secret's out? That is a lot of Kelalon statues. Okay, so there are some seeds here, and there's some dreams here. There's three dreams that I can see. Um, we have only a couple minutes, so let's do a little tiny bit of exploring. Tiny little bit. Tomorrow will probably be a whole lot more. Or next episode, I should say. It's not going to be tomorrow. Might be tomorrow for me. I'm not sure yet. <laughs> but it's not It's not going to be tomorrow for you guys. All right. There's a store in here. So let's go. Let's go in the stores. It's an inn, Kaim. Look, it's been a long voyage, and I'm sure you're tired, so why don't we call it a day here, okay? Uh, no. Ugh. Do I have to say yes to that to be able to go inside? Ooh, a pipit pot. No. It just looks like a pipit pot. And we got a seed. All right. So <laughs> I guess we're doing a little bit today. Pot near the waterfall. Excellent. All right, let's go up. I was trying to see if there was anything under there. This is a whole lot of Kelalon statues. It's like, what? What in the world is going on with the statues? All right, is there anything behind? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's another Kelalon statue back there. Okay. <laughs> what? Why are there so many? I really need to start talking to people again. Because um, we have those extra pieces to try to see what's going on. But that is going to have to be a next time thing. I am going to end today's episode off here. I hope you folks have enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button down below. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and checking out some of my other content. And as always, I will catch you folks in the next episode. Stay frosty out there.